Welcome to my video. In this opportunity, I'm going to speak about the story of 1937 by Elbridge Tantiket. And I'm going to give a little summary of this story and some important aspects that are important to highlight and to analyze. Also, my personal reaction to this story. So to begin, I'm going to say that Elvis Tantikat is an American uh, Asian writer whose uh, works focus on the lives of women, especially from 80, related to the issues of power, injustice, and poverty. This story is based on that especially because the main character is Josephine, a young Asian girl who is describing her experience having a mother in prison and being oppressed by the abuse of Dominican Republic government on Asian culture in the year of 1937. This story also represents a part of the injustice and cruelty Asian people live under the Dominican soldiers' domain. And at the beginning of the story, Josephine appears there holding a doll, which is a, called a Madonna. And for Asian people, this type of doll is like a representation of the Virgin Mary, the mother of Jesus Christ. And she was a, also a, describing a lot of importance of, for that doll because she inherits from her, grand, from her mother. And in, at the beginning of the story, she is in the way to visit her mother in prison. But first, she introduces and describes some part of the tragedy that happened in the river. As you can see, that river that divides Dominican Republic and Haiti. And in this river, a terrible massacre occurred that was ordered by El Generalissimo Rafael Trujillo the chief of the state who sent soldiers to kill all Asian. And that day, uh, Josephine born uh, and her grandmother unfortunately died the same day in the Massacre River. And this river has significant meaning for those people. In fact, the author Dantica shows how strong was the connection that Asian people had with this river. For example, as Josephine and her mother that visited every day, every year, and to remember and commemorate the loss of many others' mothers there. Then, we can see that as the story goes, uh, she visits her mother in prison, in a deplorable prison. Her mom was accused of doing witchcraft, which was a very common accusation for Asian people in, in, in that time. And all the other prisoners there were accused for the same reason. And uh, they were saw as witches. And uh, we can see that in every visit, uh, she is describing the conditions that women have uh, a, had in the prison. Uh, for example, her mother that appears even worse every day. She appears more unhealthy, uh, skinny, and in poor condition. She's describing how the wars treated her. Um, for example, that the wars feed all women just with bread and water, and that they shave their heads uh, just because to they wanted to they look like men. So they were treated in inhuman and cruel conditions there, and Josephine is describing that. Also, uh, while she is there, uh, she with her mother, she is describing uh, those things that she's remembering. For example, when her mother was arrested, and she reveals that the only thing that her mama, as she called her, was to look after a, a neighbor's kid because um, uh, he he was crying a lot every night so the mother was so tired to look after that kid or to hear the cries so her mother uh, wakes up every every night to see that kid and call him however one day the neighbors accused her to doing witchcraft to the kid because the kid was dead and the problem was that because everybody was there and using sticks and rocks to hurt her and the soldiers took away. However, Josephine wanted to reach her mother and do something but she could not do anything about it because of the crown. 
After remembering that event, she also describes another memory from her mother that that occurred in the Massacre River, and uh, it was the description of her grandmother's death because a thousand of Asian, including Josephine's grandmother, died there, and she told her that she was still in her womb when this happened and that she saved her but her grandmother died unfortunately. And she said these words, at least I gave birth to my daughter on the night that my mother was taken from me. At least you came out on the right moment to take my mother's place. Then a week later, of that, a strange woman stopped a Josephine and told her that she knew her and called her sister, and they were uh, at the, that they were at the river. And Josephine was doubting, but she asked her some question that made her sure that she has been there with them. So that woman called Jacqueline wanted to tell her that her mother was dead and that she would took her to the place the words had borne her body to avoid an spirit to use her body. And at the end, Josephine uh, was uh, was calm of that uh, of that notice. Then, a week later of that, a strange woman stopped Josephine in her way and told her that she knew her and called her sister and that they were at the river in the same days. So Josephine was doubting about that, but she asked her some questions to make her sure that she has been with them in the river. That woman, a called Jacqueline, wanted to tell her that her mother was dead and that she she will took her to the place the world had borne her body to avoid an spirit to use her body because that that was the thing that they believe in that time so at the end Josephine was calm because of that because she knew that one day that will happen so Josephine just hold her Madonna to feel and smell her mother's essence and looking at the sun she was uh, thinking that one day she will see her mother there and she will be better with her. So, as you can see, um, this story is short and, uh, um, however, I think that it describes a part, an important part of the suffering of Asian people, particularly women the depression and the sadness of those poor women you can experience it while you are reading this and because she's describing a lot of things about uh, how they were treated in depression also how they suffer from all of those loss of others uh, women and how they were a lot of killed by the Dominican soldiers and I think that this is uh, because of the Rafael Trujillo's dictatorship in the Dominican Republic because uh, not, nobody did something about it to stop those uh, orders or to stop those injustice. And I believe that while reading this part, we might feel a strong disagreement with the orders of Trujillo government. And it doesn't make sense how they they dare to do something so horrible, so to crime so horrible, to kill innocent people without any justifiable reason. And this reminds me something a lot, uh, the situation that Adolf Hitler's government did in the World War II and the Holocaust, that events that lead to deaths of around 40 million thousand people just because of the race. And I think that this is very uh, similar. However, this story is not known for many people as uh, events of Adolf Hitler's did. And this is also considered a terrible event that thousands of people die because of in unjustifiable reasons and this event needs to be known and people have to speak about it and at least to recognize the fault of the government of that period of time but 
nobody speaks about it nobody uh, say that who was uh, the who was or who is going to take the fault of those uh, things right in that uh, something important that the story remains is how corrupted can be the abuse of power um, from the governments and the leaders can manipulate people to into turning against other people in the case of Dominican Republic against their neighbors of 80 just because of the race. I think that it's very uh, it's not fair to do something like that. So as a conclusion, I think that 1937 is a story that shows how Asians suffered and that many people died by injustice and discrimination. Besides that, it shows how events like those can affect people's behavior, such as the case of Josephine, which she remained silent for a long time with her mother because she didn't speak anything with her when she visited her in the prison. And also, the loss of many other and many innocent lives cannot be regarded by anything. And these people lost their mothers, their daughters, their families there for anything. And I think that nothing was done to repair this damage to the country. Those uh, type of events um, left significant uh, marks on their life and also on Asian people culture also in the story and the, the economy of this uh, of this country and nobody did something about it to have uh, to or to reward the people that suffered that those events those terrible events so I think that that is all for my personal opinion about this uh, this story and I hope that you like it and you understand this story thank you for watching